Hey, it's Diane with the Giant FM Morning Show. We are doing another giant act of kindness. We're actually here at the Giant FM uh, studio. We're in the, the lobby of the building this today. Um, and actually, we're here with Crossfire Wrestling because they do a lot in the community and they give back. And this is Chris LaPlante, and he's going to tell us a little bit about Crossfire Wrestling and how they give back and why we wanted to say thank you to you guys for everything you do. Well, thank you very much for this award. It means a lot for Crossfire Wrestling. We've been uh, actively involved in our community for Niagara Peninsula Foundation for Children for a number of years. And we've raised uh, quite a bit of money for them. And uh, without the community and without the foundation, we like to try and raise awareness for autism as well, which we have an Autism Awareness Championship belt that will be defended on March the 21st at March Meltdown at the Meriden Community Center in St. Catharines. Okay, so before we get to more about the belt, uh, I'm going to talk to Jack with uh, the Niagara Peninsula Foundation for Children about what you guys do with the money that you get from Crossfire Wrestling because it's a significant amount every year. Yes, uh, the positive thing is, is the money all goes back to the community. Some of the initiatives we have uh, done and we continue to do is uh, with autism, we uh, give $10,000 to their summer camp for kids can go to camp. Uh, we uh, give Sp Wellsprings uh, Niagara, the, the Cancer Support Center. We will help funding their playground. We have uh, provided money for lifts for uh, for families who, who need a van. Uh, and so we've done a lot of things like that. This year we added, uh, we sponsored five families uh, uh, for Christmas and another thing initiative we have cortisone 18 uh, which is uh, a, a rare disease uh, I think 200 children in, in uh, Canada have it and so uh, we fund the uh, special conference for that so all the money goes uh, back into the community and uh, we have fun doing it well, thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, we are always happy to do these giant acts of kindness. And Chuck, you're really involved with Crossfire Wrestling, aren't you? Love Crossfire Wrestling. We've got a lot of the crew here as well that uh, work behind the scenes as well. We want to acknowledge Chris. Uh, uh, tell us a few words about the crew that you have with you on uh, every show day. Well, the crew is the most important people in this uh, organization that we have. Without you guys, we don't have a show. Along with the sponsors, which uh, Stephen Kanjar, proud sponsor, is here as well today since I started. And the talent, we've got Rage and Jones and other wrestlers in the past as well as the fans. It's, everything comes together as one big family here. And it all starts with the wrestling crew to get the shows happening. All right, now we want to get a shot of the beautiful uh, brand new autism belt. Chris, can you tell us about that? Well, the Autism Awareness Championship belt actually is originally arra arranged by Sean Eden, a uh, proud sponsor and photographer of our show. He approached me on this about helping try to raise awareness for autism and I was on board for that, and uh, he actually even made that belt. That is absolutely beautiful and a work of art. Now we're going to talk to uh, the two combatants who will be in the ring March 21st at the Meriton Community Center in just a second. First, we have a wrestling legend here. If we can get a shot of Mr. Chuck the Butcher Simpson. Chuck, do you want to give us a prediction? Uh, we've got Jake Jones against Rage, first ever autism awareness belt. Any predictions from well, you? I, I might give you a prediction, but I saw these guys wrestling a hardcore match a few crossfire shows ago, and I was right at ringside, and it was amazing. Totally top shelf class A match I saw that night. So I'm looking forward to seeing this match March 21st. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome that they're wrestling for the autism belt. It's going to be just unbelievable. House is going to rock. Before we chat with Jake, before we chat with Rage, uh, is there one match left for uh, Chuck the Butcher Simpson? Can you uh, give us a Possibly. scoop here? Possibly. We're in training right now, Chuck, so uh, I can't divulge too much information about that. <laughs> Now, let's get to the guys who are going to be in the ring, the Crossfire Wrestling Ring on March 21st, Meriton Community Center. Former uh, member of the Ottawa Renegades CFL team. Uh, this guy has a big football background, but in the wrestling world, he is a powerhouse. And uh, just take a look at this guy. Rage is going to be in the ring against Jake Jones. And we're going to start with Rage here. What's he causing all this today? It's the Muscle Messiah. And you're right. You're right. It was a great match. And who won? It was me. Who's beat him twice? It was me. Not do I always look good. I'm looked like a champion. I'm dressed like a champion. But I act like a champion. And more so, I win like a champion. Unlike you, who you lose to. You're nothing but a loser, Jake. You've lost twice. And this, March 21st, at Meriden Community Center in St. Catharines, is going around the winner's waist. Because you're going to be 0 for 3. And your son... Your son's autistic, is he not? Yeah, that's right. Well, he's going to look at his dad. He's going to look at his dad like the loser that he is. 
because he's going to have a real idol to look up to. And that's the Muscle Messiah, because I'll be 3-0 and and the new champion. Well, uh, many have tried and many have failed against the Muscle Messiah. Jake Jones, you've got your work cut out for you. How do you respond to uh, what uh, Rage here had to say moments ago? First of all, Rage, you're half muscle, you're half mouth. You're, all your work is in the ring. Outside of the ring, you're nothing. You stand for nothing. Listen, I might be common compared to you. I might be 0-2. But the thing is, I got up both times, Rob, and I'm coming back for more. I won't lose. I will represent my family. I will represent this title. Crossfire Wrestling needs someone like me, not some piece of crap like you, Rob. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Well, there you have it, folks, from Jake Jones and from Rage. They are going to be in the ring March 21st, Meriton Community Center. And oh, pal. This is what Crossfire Wrestling This is all that matters right right, here. We need security here very quickly. It looks like, Diane, we're going to hand things back to you to wrap her up here. (laughs) Thanks so much. All right, we'll see you guys in the ring. All right, so that's it for the Giant Act of Kindness from Giant FM. Uh, You never know where we're going to be next, and... uh, we're just so happy that we can bring some sandwiches from Mitchell's Bakery for the folks here from Crossfire Wrestling and uh, also the Niagara Peninsula Foundation for Children. So we're going to dig in and have a great one, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow morning on the Giant FM Morning Show. Oh, yeah!